Hey guys, how's it going? DJ Fire here. It has been a little over a month since we've talked at that last gig. And I want to say I'm sorry. It has been super, super kind of slow right now for the DJ business. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's slow for the lighting industry. And we have a bunch of new stuff that we're going to be showing off here on the channel. So I want to start off with the brand new new moving heads. These are two. So here we got heads. two brand new moving heads from our good friends over at Sheds. As you know, we have the 150 watt and the brand new 160 watt with color ring. So these things are super, super cool. I like them both. I think they're very, very cool. Um, one has a bigger base than the other. But it doesn't necessarily mean the little guy's not as powerful as the bigger guy. This only has 10 more watts than this does. And honestly, I think they do a really great job. Um, hopefully going to have some gigs this fall or maybe later this year. We're going to be using these at. We've got some small gigs coming up, but is it requiring a whole lot of lighting? So a lot of these won't be used till probably at least one of my fall gigs. Um, which right now I only have one wedding this fall. Uh, but I do have a bunch of other events coming up, so we'll see what happens there. But I wanted to kind of show you a little bit about these. I have some footage recorded for my other channel. We're just going to throw that in here so that you guys can see what this thing does. And I'll just do a little voiceover so that uh, you guys can see what these do, how they work, and... Uh, what awesome shows they do. Like this one here has a really cool effect where it kind of looks like the bubbles, like it's bubbles and stuff. I really like that. This one kind of has that, but a little different. Um, they are putting different power cons on these. So they're putting a yellow and, well, I think it's yellow and white. Yeah, yellow and white. This one has a blue and white one on it. So different there. Of course, they always have DMX in, DMX out. Uh, weight wise, weight wise, I'm not going to lie. This one is lighter, even though this one has a bigger base, this one's smaller, but I think has a bigger head on it, uh, and probably has more in it. Uh, so very cool. This one is led. This one is led. And, uh, I think they're really cool. Um, I'll get you guys some close ups of them here real quick and you guys can check them out. Uh, up close and let's get to that video of all right guys so here is some footage i have taken oh a few weeks ago uh, for the product reviews i did on my uh, product review channel which if you haven't done so go check it out it's called the nathan 343 and there's a lot of awesome stuff on there we just got uh, something else new that we're going to be doing project on but hey sheds uh, really like this bubble popping kind of bouncing effect that this moving head has. I really think that's very cool. I'm sure that's something to do with the prism. I don't sometimes quite understand how all that works, but hey, it's cool and it, it makes for a very awesome effect. Again, of course, uh, this is in my house here and uh, have about 12 foot tall, 15 foot tall ceilings uh, right in that area. But uh, the bigger rooms you get, the bigger this prism will be. The further distance it is away from the moving head but it looks super super good uh it would be really cool to have a wedding uh, which i plan to have uh probably these at a wedding sometime uh, as soon as i get one that these will work at hopefully that will be soon i am kind of doing not so much right now with djing i do have a lot of lawn care and product review stuff coming on so make sure you go subscribe to the new horizon channel and you go subscribe to the nathan 343 because we have a lot of stuff coming out there but Lots of colors. The color mixing is really well. That looks super cool. Um, again, this is the 150 watt moving head uh, that you see right here uh, with the smaller base. Uh, this is some of its stuff. Now, it also has single prisms or single gobo with like a beam. This is kind of its uh, prism effect. Uh, it does a really, really good job. Uh, I really like it. I think that's super cool. I don't know. What is that? Like 16, 18? Uh prisms there really cool and of course as the colors fade it looks super great so i'll uh let's check out the rest of the different deals it has and we'll move on to the next moving head
right, moving on to the 160 watt. This is one of its auto shows and I think it does a pretty good job in its auto show. Uh, it does have a lot of strobing. I do notice that a lot of moving heads in auto and sound active strobe a lot. I wish they wouldn't do that so much. Uh, maybe have like a strobe mode or something. Uh, but the color ring on this thing, of course you get your uh, instructional booklet there, but the color ring on this thing is really, really cool. And you can control that independently from the gobos and the speam and the spot and all that stuff. I really think this is a very, very awesome little moving head, and I'm, it's got some pretty cool effects. But one thing I will say, as you can see, those gobos behind me are blurry. Uh, it doesn't have like a way to make itself autofocus unless you're using DMX. Here you can see the basically the spot beam pattern that it puts on there as the color wheel is spinning in front of the white LED it makes the color change and uh, it does really good it's got some good colors good color mixing uh, you can speed it up slow it down make it do like spin one way or spin the other counterclockwise or clockwise it is spinning clockwise there um, you can also intensify how bright you want the light to be it can be dim you know, medium and or full brightness this is what we have here is uh, full brightness but i will say this has some very unique gobos in it and would be perfect for the holiday season and you'll see why here real soon All right, and now you can see why I said it would go really good with the holidays. It has a snowflake in it. So that's cool for a Christmas party or Christmas, uh, you know, dance or even, you know, if you're just wanting to shine this on a moon for a, you know, a prom, you could use this for like if they're having like a starry night type of uh, prom, this would work great for prom. Uh, you could make it any color you want. I mean, you put this on a far back wall, this is going to look sweet. Especially with snow, you could shine that up at the ceiling or even have the prisms on there. It has, those remind me of pull sticks. Uh, but it's crisp, crispy, clear. Uh, they look really good. That reminds me of a saw blade. Uh, that reminds me of candy corn. And if you look at it long enough, you'll see the candy corn pieces in there. Exactly what I'm pointing there. It's candy corn. Uh, it's corn. So... Yeah, I think this is a really, really awesome moving head. They, they really are nice. Uh, I wish I had two of them. Probably going to have to get another one. Uh, either the 150 or the um, even the 160. Now, stay tuned to the channel because we've got a couple more moving heads that we're going to be spotlighting here on the channel uh, that you're going to want to see because they're a, kind of a smaller version of its bigger predecessor. So... But yeah, there's those snowflakes. I know the camera's not picking up, but it that was super focused. Uh, the wall uh, in the studio, we have done some uh, revamping here in the studio. As you'll see, kind of from the beginning to the old stuff, uh, we did repaint the walls and put a TV up and doing some stuff. We're still working on lighting and running wires and stuff like that. So it's looking super great. But uh, I think this would be cool for a, you know, make this like a light white or a light blue or even red and green, you know would look super cool uh, for a uh, Christmas party. Now here you're kind of getting just a, you know, I'm playing around messing with the different settings and the different, you know, speeds and everything. Again, you can make these 
spin and circles the whole gobo i don't know if you can tell but the individual uh, pictures are spinning too to kind of keep them level that's a setting in there and uh, here's some close-ups of them again here's the 160 with the color ring uh, super bright actually i ran the color ring without the uh, gobo part on it looks super good uh, the fans on the auto show, if you have like the coloring on, the fan's not normally on, but if you're using the gobo, once it gets to a certain temperature, that fan kicks on. The fans are kind of loud, but in a big environment, especially if you have these hanging up on a ceiling for a big stage app, you know, application, uh, you're not going to hear those. But thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry I've been kind of quiet for a while. Uh, not a whole lot going on, but I wanted to make you a couple product reviews on these uh, lights link in the description thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one and that will be very soon because i've got something special for you coming up so make sure you're subscribed